We are here at Queen Lane because we have installed the first stormwater bump outs in the city of Philadelphia to accomplish a stormwater improvement for the street. Stormwater is naturally collecting along the curb line and running you know, down the slope of the street and so we're able to just install stormwater bump outs right upstream of any of the inlets. On this particular block, we actually put in six bump outs. There were five existing inlets that we put them in front of, and then we had one that was used to just border the driveway into the facility. The systems are designed to manage the first inch of runoff that comes from both the sidewalk and the street and there's a little over an acre of impervious cover that goes to these six bump outs. Before these bump outs existed, the rain was falling onto the sidewalk and onto the street and then just running right into the inlets that are already in the street. The problem is that the pipes just don't have the capacity to hold all of that water and eventually this results in overflows directly into the river. And that actually is an overflow of both rainwater and the sewage coming from the buildings. So it's definitely an issue of water quality for the city. What happens with the stormwater bump out is that water comes off of the street. Um, it'll actually come into the system through openings that we have in the curb that surrounds the bump out, such as that one. The water then flows into the surface of it. It'll pond a little bit on the soil where the plants are, filter through that soil down into stone that's beneath the soil and adds just additional storage so we can manage the full inch of runoff. We also have runoff that comes from the sidewalk. Um, in this case, we have some porous pavers just before the system. That'll keep anything from puddling on the sidewalk. If those are full, we have curb cuts so it can also go into the surface. The whole system is underneath all combined into one big storage area. If we do have really intense storms, we have a domed riser here. This is a pipe that actually connects directly to that stone bed that's under the soil. So if the water isn't going through the soil fast enough, it'll flow into that pipe and straight down into the storage area. Uh, we also have a check dam. The check dam is put there so that we can increase the amount of water that we hold on the surface, that ponding area that we use. Once the entire system is filled, it will actually overflow back into the gutter and find its way into the sewer. We really try to tailor the stormwater management to the space so that it makes sense not just for the stormwater that's going to be managed there, but also so that we're getting the most benefit out of that system. We worked really closely with the neighbors. We had several public meetings in order to get their opinion on what should be put in place, and they had said that they really wanted some traffic calming measures. One of the great things about stormwater bump outs is that it can be used to accomplish both a stormwater improvement for the street as well as traffic calming. The intent there is to make a visual impression on the driver so that it feels like the street is getting narrowed. You might feel like you have a little less space. It just gives you that impression that there's pinch points, which tends to make people slow down. By recognizing the needs of the neighbors and trying to tailor our system so that it, it could accomplish what the department needed as well as what the neighborhood needed, we were pretty successful.